Should I know the questions? No, we haven't seen the oh, question. No. no. Can I stand or shall I sit? What is the best thing about working here? Um, it's certainly the people. I think their passion for sexual health and providing support for our clients, for our students, for, you know, really for the community and just seeing, you know, people come through and be empowered with that is just fantastic. It's fun. Be fun. fun. Yes. yes. Who doesn't love talking about sex? No, seriously. <laughs> finally a job, right? <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> Talk about it constantly. <laughs> they were really honest and open and comfortable and taboo free. I felt that I could come to work to really be myself. There's no topic we won't talk about and there's no topic that we can't help people with. It's one of the best things about Sexual Health Victoria. Uh, the experts at this, they know how to bring people into the room, whether that room be a classroom or a clinic room, and help de-escalate them to make what can be a really awkward and difficult conversation feel really calm and natural. There is no place that you can go to work and find a penis on the desk and it's acceptable. One of our nurses actually wanted me to make one of these for her and when she said it, I was like, I reckon I can do that. And look, his head comes off for those who are circumcised. We include everyone here. It's all about trying to normalise sexuality and uh, help people express themselves in a sexual way and really focus on what feels good and what feels safe and um, creating dynamics within their own relationships that are good and safe and nourishing for them. So I've got my uterus and ovaries here because I didn't want the coctus to have all the fun. One of the reasons I really enjoy working here is that we can deliver excellent sexual health to people of all genders, all ages, and we're able to really support them through what can sometimes be a challenging time. So we're really excited to be um, starting our journey for and on our journey for Rainbow Tech Accreditation at Sexual Health Victoria. It means that we will continue to provide safe and inclusive care for everyone. Uh, we have a couple of clinics in Melbourne. We've got the Box Hill one, which is where we're filming today. Um, and then we've also got one in the CBD. It's just near Flinders Street Station, so it's really accessible. Sex education is important in schools because when teachers do it, they're really good at teaching the, what we call plumbing and prevention. So they're really good at getting the banana pieces, the penis, and showing them how to put a condom on. But they don't do the really important stuff. The really important stuff is the relationships, how to conduct yourself in a relationship, how to ask for consent, uh, for consent how to give consent, how to make sure that someone still has that condom on when, they, when you turn around. <laughs> You're waving at me. <laughs> Some of them are water pistols, so when you squeeze them, they uh, shoot out water. So we're informed and inspired by the community and what's important. We also like to identify the areas uh, in uh, social and political policy that is being um, missed. You know, often we get the feedback from our client. When we hear that feedback and we're actually able to help people, that's what keeps me inspired to keep going. Sexual Health Victoria has been providing services across the state for over 50 years. We come from a small and humble beginnings and now we've expanded our services. What we're looking forward to in the future is to continue those services, to continue to reach all parts of Victoria and for all people to have the best of sexual health. <laughs> I know, right?